What's going on guys? My name is Matt Wasik. Welcome back to the channel. So about a week or two back, I did a video discussing building out a nationwide site and then I also brought up building out a statewide site where you'd build 200 city plus service pages or you would rank for 200 cities for the particular service that your site is all about. And a lot of you guys asked a lot of questions, both on both the YouTube comments as well as on Facebook Messenger and in our Facebook group, people are asking questions as well, which by the way, if you're not a part of, go down below, join the Facebook group, it's 100% free. And we currently have about 800 members in there, a lot of good discussion going on, it's a great place to be, whether you're a beginner or you're a veteran. But anyways, a lot of you guys ask questions on setting up the structure, how, does, how do you do it, how much can I make with it, which I'm going to answer in a separate video because there is no black or white answer. There's You can't just say it's gonna make X or it'll make this much or that much, whatever. It depends on the volume as well as how, how good your site looks, what type of copywriting do you have, do you have an ideal click-through rate? I mean, the list just goes on and on and on of different things you can optimize. So that's gonna be in another video. Be sure to go down below and subscribe so you will know when that video comes out. But there's also another question that was asked was how can you create the content? How long is it gonna take me to create 200 pages worth of content for City Plus service pages? You know that, because a lot of you guys now know that you gotta create four to 500 words worth of content on these pages in order to entice these search engines to want to index and rank them. So I'm gonna show you the structure here first and how you can set it up. I'm gonna go through it quick because I've covered it many times before. I think most of you guys watching, unless you're brand, brand, brand new to this, which by the way, Go look through my channel, watch, dig through the content. You're gonna see a lot of that content discussing how to set up the structure. But then we're gonna get into some softwares that are free or very low cost that you can use to leverage the content creation side of things. I have also been working with two different softwares for mass page building. Both have their own complete different styles of how the pages are built out and the content that's placed on them. I'm not going to release any info on those softwares quite yet. I want to see the data and as well as the indexing and the ranking and some of the traffic conversions coming through first before I share it here on the channel. So be sure to be subscribed and stay tuned so that way you'll know the details on when those come up. But so far, so good with both of these softwares. I absolutely love them. It's gonna really, really change up the way we build our sites here in the future because you can create a serious amount of content and some of the stuff I'm gonna show you here is, is built into one of these softwares and you can really, really create a lot of content really fast. But anyways, let's get into this basic structure. So to start things off, you're gonna have the website built as you would, whether you're building one to rank for 10 cities or you're gonna build one for five cities or you're gonna to try to rank for 200 or 2000 if they're all in the same state, this is going to be the exact same concept, the exact same thing. Very, 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 very simple. You have your homepage here, which you wanna have be the most competitive city that you are trying to rank your site for because this is the site or this is the page that's going to get the most links. Your citations are coming to it, your foundational links, some of your PBNs. You just wanna be able to have a lot of links coming to it. So you're best suited to have that be the most competitive city because that's what's gonna get the most traffic. So from there, you have your standard core pages, your about, your contact or get a quote, services pages, and down below that, you could go in more in depth depending on the service and in the niche that you're building out the site about. Then the service area, and I think this is where a lot of you guys got confused, was on how to do this page. This is also referred to as a locations page as well, but it's really, really simple. So this page, you will basically just take your checklist or your Excel sheet, Google Doc, whatever it is that your affiliate network provides you with, it could be a PDF, of all of the cities that are covered in that particular state on their offer. So some of these might be completely nationwide, 100% all the cities in there, then just go to Wikipedia or just find a list of all the cities in that particular state that you're targeting. And you're basically just gonna input them into several different lists, whether if you're using just a free theme from WordPress, it's gonna be just your bulleted list and just go through the line, making column after column after column, if you can do that with that particular theme. If you're using Thrive Architect, you're gonna use just styled list elements. And if you're using Elementor Pro, you're going to use the icon list element. And you just keep going down the line for each and every single one of those cities. Then let's say we're doing this one here for Missouri. We're gonna target the homepage as St. Louis. So you have your other cities, I think O'Fallon is one of them. Let's see, you have Springfield, then you have Kansas City, for example. And of course, you're gonna have a lot more than that. But what you're gonna do is build out an individual page that's all about plumbing or a plumbing contractor in O'Fallon or in Springfield or in Kansas City, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So you optimize your meta title, your meta description, use all-in-one SEO, or you could use Yoast. I like all-in-one SEO. It's a lot more simple to use, in my opinion. 
So you can use one of those two. There are probably other ones out there. You also wanna make sure you have XML sitemaps, the plugin installed so that way they can get indexed a little bit quicker. But before we start building out these pages, what you're gonna to wanna to do is maybe write one to two articles. You could probably even get away with just one. That's about four to 500 words long and make sure it's written in a manner with a little bit of copywriting to agitate the problem and offer the solution as a as base level sales there to basically be writing to the person that's going to be viewing this site and they're gonna probably be viewing it for the first time. So if you're gonna outsource this, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that this person's a quality writer. You wanna make sure you have super good quality content that's written out. It's not going to be cheap. It's probably gonna be at least 20 bucks per article, whereas you can get a $3 article for a PBN and it's going to work just fine. But for this, this is going to be what's gonna make you the money that has to make sense to someone that's going to be looking for these particular services. So write that up in a Word document. When you have four to 500 words, you can use wordcounter.net to see what the total word count is. You're then going to wanna to make sure that you have the keyword density. So if you're trying to do St. Louis plumber or actually if you're gonna do O'Fallon plumber or O'Fallon plumbing, you wanna have the keyword in there one to 2% of the total amount of text or the total amount of words. And what you're gonna be doing is either using a free tool like bestfreespinner.com. There's a bunch of other ones out there. There's some low cost softwares that you can get as well. There are also some WordPress plugins. You'll have to check to see whether they sync with the WordPress builder that you are using to see if it's compatible. But what you need to do is basically add these little brackets, which are right above the quote button. And then you have the word, and then you have a synonym of that word with the a bracket in between, which is the bracket that goes, or the button that is right above the return button. Then you have another synonym and then you have another bracket. You can do as many as you want. You can even do this with an entire phrase if you would like. And what this is gonna do is when you put it into a spinner or if you put it into a Spintax WordPress plugin, it's going to spit out a completely new sentence. So you can do this with an entire article and it's gonna give you a brand new article every single time. So what you're gonna do is then paste that article on the O'Fallon page. And make sure you, of course, you have the O'Fallon in there for the city that you're targeting and using the keyword variation where it'd be plumbing contractor and O'Fallon, plumber and O'Fallon, plumbing company, you get the idea of how, the, how to use the variables, how to use the variances of keywords. But you take that one, paste it on the O'Fallon page. And of course you wanna have imagery in there. And if you're doing a YouTube video with a animated lead gen template, you wanna embed that on the page. And then also some of your other graphical elements, especially if you're using Thrive Architect Elementor Pro, your calls to action, the why choose us, those types of things, throw those in there. And then you publish that page, just making sure that the meta title, meta description is on point as well for that particular city. Then you send it through the spinner again and you do it for Springfield. Then you do it again for Spring for Kansas City. And you just keep going and going and going. And the initial foundational work with this is going to take you a good amount of time. You're gonna to have to spend a couple hours, especially if you're writing your own article. And actually, even if you purchase an article, you're still going to, have to go through and change out for different synonyms. Like you can see here, we have helping hundreds in the text or the, in the number format. And then we have it here in the word format of clients or customers. So it's gonna change that up. And you can do this with phrases and stuff. And I mentioned that already, but you wanna really go in depth with this and make sure that you have a lot of different combinations here because this is really what sets the foundation for your entire site that you're building. So spend some time on it, spend three, four hours optimizing it, making sure you have enough content on there and then start putting it to work with the spinner and building out all these other rest of these pages. Then you wanna set up your schema. There's some great plugins for that, using aggregate ratings to get the star rating in the search result. It doesn't always show up, depends on how Google's bots uh, decide whether or not they wanna have that in there, but that will help you with your click-through rate as well. So. These tools are 100% free to do. Like I mentioned, one of those particular mass page building softwares has Spintax built into it, so it makes it very, very simple to do. You'll definitely have to stay tuned for that video when it comes out because I'm really excited with, with some of the progress so far with it. But that is how you can do this. I would estimate you could probably build out and let's say it is 200 pages you're gonna try to target. If you took half a day to build out that article, and that's a long time, I would say you could probably build out 200 pages in a matter of a few days. And uh, that's just kind of with drip feeding it because obviously you don't want to blast 200 pages at once necessarily. So 
Anyways, if you got this far in the video, I'd appreciate if you went down below, dropped a like on this video. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, go down below, join the family, smash that subscribe, hit the bell for notifications so you know when all the newest content is uploaded here to the channel. And if you want to get more step-by-step -step guided training on building a website, ranking in the search engines, monetizing it with selling the leads to a local business or an affiliate network, there's a link right down below to our course where you can get all that training and a whole lot more. So, with that said, I will see you guys in the next video.